the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. Oh, Lacey, good morning. And uh, weather-wise, it's not feeling like the end of November or the beginning of December no, out there for sure. It's such an exciting time of year. Usually you got your coat, your sweater, your scarf, and kind of festive. Not today. No, not today. <laughs> Don't do that, please. <laughs> Sunny skies. We will be cool this morning. We're still pretty chilly right now, but we have a very nice warm-up underway. This afternoon, we are climbing into the 70s. Now, 70s any other time of the year, that's not too awful bad. It's not that it's bad this time of year. It's just so warm for the final day of November. Here comes a weak storm system and I do mean week that is moving through Oklahoma. It's pretty moisture starved. There is a little rain with this little wave of energy that's riding through, riding the jet stream through Kansas. It's dumping a little light rain from Goodland back over to Russell, back over to McPherson. But as that shifts down to the southeast, we'll have a very slight chance of getting a sprinkle or two in far northeastern Oklahoma. We need the rain. We've been talking about the drought. We keep talking about the fire danger every time our winds kick up. Thankfully today, the winds are going to be very light. Just how dry have we been for Oklahoma City? I think this graphic puts it into perspective very nicely. In case you've forgotten, the last time we had measurable rain in Oklahoma City was back on November 3rd. We had two days, the second and the third, where we had rain. And since then, taking you all the way through the current date, yeah nothing dry and we've got sunshine because of that because the dry conditions it does make for very pleasant conditions 49 degrees southeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour today one thing you will notice Similar to yesterday, the winds are so very light. Temperatures are warming quickly. We're now up to 52 in Blackwell, 49 in Stillwater, 55 in Jones, 52 in Ada. We've got lower, mid, even upper 50s across portions of western and southwestern Oklahoma. Boundary draped to our north. It's weak. There is some stronger north winds in our panhandle, but the rest of the state will see light winds through the day. So here's your hour by hour forecast. Sun won't set until 518. And look at the warm up. 65 noon, 70 degrees coming up by 2, 73 by 4. And the winds do change direction. They come around out of the east. And eventually, much later today, that cold front does get a shove down to the south. And it'll make its way all the way down across the rest of the state. And it'll be a cooler day today, but even still, very minimal impact. Temperatures will still be above average. This afternoon, 60s, 70s, 76 Ardmore, 74 in Lawton. Record high in Oklahoma City, 74, said back in 1946. Now, we keep talking about flirting with records. Show you the records for the next several days. For the rest of the work week, they're in the mid, even upper 70s. And the yellow that you see is the forecasted high, which is pretty close to that. Friday, the record high is 79. We're forecasting 76. Friday will be a warm day. So we've got several cold fronts that we're watching. The first one's going to move through late today and tonight. No major impacts with that. We're still dry and we're still mild all the way through the work week. Friday late, another cold front arrives. Now, I do think this one will bring a chance for some cloud cover, some showers around Friday night into Saturday. Saturday looks like a cloudy day. We'll likely have a chance for a few spotty showers. and It'll be cooler for sure. You'll notice the temperature difference for your weekend. Monday will be cool as well. Then as we work our way through the middle portions of next week, Tuesday into Wednesday, this system scoots on in. We'll bring us another cold front. But the moisture with it, again, for Oklahoma, looks lacking for sure. Lows tonight, 20s, 30s, and a few 40s to the southeast. Tomorrow afternoon, the first day of December, average high is 55. We'll see 69 degrees in Oklahoma City, 70 in Lawton, 71 Durant, 68 in Enid. And here's your Thursday, lower, mid, upper 70s once again. South winds take hold at times, maybe some gusts to 20 miles per hour. Rest of the state, 10 to 15. Now on Saturday, Friday night into Saturday, that cold front arrives. We'll have a chance for a few showers, and that's the only opportunity for moisture coming up over the next nine days, the way it looks. Slight chance of a few showers, maybe some drizzle. 60 on Sunday, pretty mild into next week, and we'll watch that cold front that moves through midweek. Back to you guys.